different pieces from different rosters and see them succeed. Um, as we see a little bit of a maybe less than successful hold here from Shanks and EEIU as BBG just brute force, or sorry, uh, yeah, BBG just brute force their way through B main. Spike planted. Well, BBG, get onto that B site again. If you're on the attacking side, winning the pistol is so incredibly important. Because sometimes that's the only rounds you get, the pistol round and the round that follows. There's a nice nade coming out that'll flush them off the backside of Pillar. Actually, it's going to be Ooh. Foe who gets caught off by the last charge of that paint shell. Now Sam's in position. He's got another nade as well towards backside site. That's also going to pull them out of position. This falls apart! Sam finds a 4k on the round as BBG gets onto the site basically for free and then collapses as Sam pops off and picks into that because I thought they were just going to eco down, but yeah. Not a good look for BBG. This could be potentially another round for NRG. Sam able to get the post mort kill with the right of the rocket that flies up. Ult. But Infinite is there with some backup. Infinite has to be careful as one has made it up onto the balcony. That's critical. Who unfortunately falls while shooting the sheriff. Yeah. Infinite with for G, with Gen G before deciding to step away from CS and compete in Valorant. I want to know if he's going to bring that same energy he brought screaming and shouting to a land environment in this game. I hope so. Oh, ouch. And aftershock kills are the worst. EEIU finds one. Som still able to survive. Man, you're talking about EEIU just flexing on him with the breach. Som there with the, with the revenge kill is critical. It's all left. down to his lonesome. They know exactly where he is. Spikes in enemy territory. He's trying to use the paranoia to break through, but he really doesn't have a lot of support here. It's Shanks. The op will send him down to you, so we'll see how BBG realizes for the first time. The push comes in. We'll stop that ultimate there, and there's going to be the close encounter with Infinite and Rob Wiz. He's going to fall, but still the blast packs come through. There's a member back behind the elbow. Does not notice that. They are not letting them onto the site. Shanks with the knives finds two. It's all down to Bjor. He's retreating. His turret's been exploded. And energy will hold on to this ace site and hold on to the round. Solid play coming in from Daps. That makes that all possible. Daps is... Now, you, we've got dueling ults right now from the Killjoys. Double lockdown. Looking like a butt on that B site. We'll see which one's going to end up getting caught in the crack. One player detained on one side and one player detained on the other. All right. Well, you don't really see detains uh, all that often with that ult, but now we get to see two in a row. That same player is going to make the peak shots. They're going to be good the second time around for Infinite and Breach. The Martyr will die. Body on the spike still down to Will. He's going to find one to trade things out. There's going to be the paint shells off the backboard. That's one enemy Showstopper remaining. to follow up. It's going to find Shanks as it's all down to infinite. It started out with a great retake here for BBG, but unfortunately too many ang- It can be incredibly difficult when you get down to the de deficit to try and turn things around, especially when the map is already playing against you. Because even if you're able to win rounds, you're winning rounds with one or two players surviving because the defense has such an advantage. Here we've got a three on three. So this is a promising push coming in from BBG as they now take it to a three on two. They have an opportunity to secure the spike on site. They've got Will with the backstab as well. Everything's stacking up as the ult comes through from Shanks. They have to watch out to dodge the knives. Shanks is going to slice apart Will. He slices, he dices, he makes Julian fries. He'll be moving in as well towards the back hall. Ends up missing on the right click. Has to now make it work with the off. Nice shot coming through. But again, this is exactly what I was talking about. One player survives. Green side. Daps and company just trying to find a couple more picks, but now they'll have to play retake as the spike's being planted. Well, there's that ult coming through, and I love the nade. The placement should take care of it. No, it actually hits the door frame. Still able to get around the corner and take out the ult. So that's big. The lockdown's canceled. It also finds a kill on infinite. Sam's in position. That was a good heads up. He's going to be able to help to push in, but he's up by himself. Can't hold off. Now they start to push in. Sam's going to find one. He almost finds a second. <laughs> Showstopper comes out. And BBG finds three. Now it's down to the 2v2 shanks. He's going to fall, trying to push through the smoke, trying to get the safety for the retake, and now it's down to infinite. 1v2 doable, but already BBG have done immense damage. Infinite all alone. One enemy Has a chance here against Rob Wiz. Has to pick this angle correctly. There's one right around the corner. 
That's critical to find a three-piece on the round. So, what do we do with your energy? We're gonna go fast towards the B site, rely on Shanks. The Boombot detonates, but no fatalities. Does some damage dealt. Zom will fly in the site. There's already players here. Oh, oh. the Nano Swarm! The turret and Nano Swarm combination just works out so well. Oh. As Fjord finds four on the round. And they've gotten themselves to this point. Zom, right by Shanks' oh. side, and oh my goodness, you couldn't have asked for a better engage with the Paranoia as everyone is blinded. Critical's just oh. make it work with the Sheriff, no less. Nice dash to get away as well. Energy decimated on their attempt to take control of mid, and it was all off Critical with just a pistol. Infinite manages to find a lot of space in the meantime. They cause the ruckus, and on the reverse, he finds a lot of space in the back alley, finds a pick on Tafo. Now we're even out, and BBG members are injured. There's two of them that are desperately low. Rob Wiz gonna be one of them as he's taken down. Coming back. Now it's up to Bjor, rotating back towards this B site. Started out very, very rough on both fronts, and BBG were able to stop the mid push, but now, with the spike ticking, the ball is in BBG's court. Time out. Turret used as a peaking advantage. Try and get Last them out on that standing. site. That paranoia is fat. Flashes them back towards spawn, and unfortunately for BBG, it looks like the round streak will end here as Bjor tries to go up into head. Alongside foe are able to hold them off. A lot of that utility starts to come through. Maybe Shanks goes a little bit too vertical, allows the eye in the sky to take out. You're gonna find three. That back site. Hold works out masterfully for BBG. Scary close to that finish line. If you're an energy fan right now, you're a little bit concerned. There's Rob Wiz starting things off with a quick shot from the op. Can't get a, a follow up. Shanks is on site. Your turret's actually gonna get a kill. Oh, goodness. Turret kills. You just love to see him. As Bjor takes down Infinite, his Killjoy counterpart makes it a five on three. They've still got lockdown as well to work with. The question is whether or not they use it here. They could use it here and guarantee tie point if they really wanted to, but instead, Will's just gonna oh! fly onto the site. That's ridiculous. Will goes space G. Well, it all comes down to this. Again, we saw both Killjoy ults bop, both lockdowns, neither one successful as one was even canceled. Now, Daps is able to pick up a kill on the critical that's desperately needed. As it brings things back to even strength, four on four, but the spike still has not made it out. Oh no. Rob Wiz, he had the opportunity to take down Infinite, who was sitting inside B main, but Infinite was waiting for the push to come through. Now, there's the Nano Swarm going down, another one to follow up. That one's gonna land on the other side of the wall, and he's actually gonna pop it immediately to prevent it from being destroyed. That's brilliant play. Shanks up in heaven, taking out Will. That's a big part of the defense for BBG gone. Somehow, some way, Foe is still across the map. They didn't trust that this was B, so he's just now rotating over from heaven, making things even harder for the remaining two. Yor, he's pulled off some magical plays in the past. Drops the alarm bot that was ready right around the corner. Can't quite get the timing right as the peak comes through in the end. The turret is there and the flank is coming through as well. That's awkward. Daps and Bjor spot each other. You do what they were going to do. Now, Daps is able to get site control spots the turret. Bjor is still here now. As the turret goes down, Bjor just has to line this up. <laughs> it got a little awkward. Shanks is able to survive way longer than one might anticipate him to be able to. And Shanks has actually been able to take down one more as well. Things, though, still at even strength. Shanks picking up the op. That's the biggest piece of the puzzle right now for energy. As it falls down to foe. 1v2. The jet ult is still out. Now, Foe does have two flashes to work with, has to drop off Heaven, so the audible cue is gonna be there. It's all about getting across. And he would have been spotted there as he went across. Oh, there's the tremor going down. And looking likely to just get the spike to halfway and then fight, that's exactly what happens. We'll take the ba battle initially with Shanks, but it was about as well played as you could. They're just looking to bait out that nano. So they know it's not there, so it's gotta be somewhere else. Off your feet! There's a Rolling Thunder ult to lead them into heaven. It actually doesn't look like it connected with anyone. So despite the fact that they use it, it doesn't really work out so well. Now, Rob Wiz is on site, but that's a really difficult position to find yourself in with an op. So he only does find one kill with that operator. And now energy is going for the plant. That is awkward timing as Daps is caught looking the wrong oh. direction. That blast into the corner has to force Shanks out of position, but it's a second too late as Shanks was already able to take out Critical. In the meantime, the cross on the flash works out well for them. 
as they're able to get a player into B main. That's infinite. Now it's down to two. Infinite being one of them. 62 HP. He's got Shanks back sight. The Nano Swarm is down. It's down to Bjor. Shanks is so low on HP. All he has to do is peek this and take the fight. And there it is. BBG eliminate energy 13 to 10 with an incredible third map performance, taking the series 2-1 to face off against 